So tell us a little bit more then about that, the four years out there. So I was, uh, I'd just turned 18 when I'd gone. Um, and between 16 and 18, it was much of the same, you know, a few great, few grade twos, few grade ones. I played nationals the year before I went away. Um, so I made last 16 a year young, which was probably as good as, <laughs> certainly as good as I probably could have done. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so I, I managed to get my place at Brown University in the US, that's in Rhode Island. Um, and Brown's pretty well known for the academic side, more so than more so than athletics, but most places out there, especially any division one places, have a, have a pretty good emphasis, certainly from a UK perspective, have a very good emphasis on sport. Um, so it seemed like a really good balance as somewhere for me to go. And I went into Brown as um, number seven, on the team, which which was okay. It's a six-man lineup for singles and three pairs. And people say you want to be around six to seven when you first go because um, you want somewhere to go. You want to be able to progress. At the same time, you don't want to be nine or ten because because uh, you want to see the court in, even in your first year. And um, I kind of fit into that um, that spot just right at the bottom of the top six. Um, that gave me a lot of um, a lot of room to grow, and so by the end of my first year, I just about snuck into snuck into the lineup. I made it made it in for a couple of matches before the really big matches at the very end of the season um, in the Ivy League. Those are the big matches for for Brown. Um, and I remember my first uh, in my first year, we played Dartmouth, and we got to three all because the the doubles all together gives the winning team one point. So we won. We lost the doubles point, I think, and we had won three of our singles and lost two singles. And there was one match left, and it was me. And I lost seven six in the third set. Um, and uh, and I still remember it really clearly. Um, and I, it was one of the matches that shaped my college career, I think, as as much as any other. Um, and not not because I lost. Um, I still remember that match very fondly because, as much as anything, I remember um, getting to tight moments and still playing freely and being able to look at myself afterwards. And I was heartbroken that I'd lost, and and so we had lost as a team. Um, but I could still look myself in the eye in the mirror and 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 be happy with the way that I'd done things, which to me was more important than the fact that I'd won or lost. And that was something, that attitude was something that was years in the making with us, wasn't it? Um, and something that we always talked about was effort and performance rather than rather than just the result. And and I benefited from that, from that attitude and from that match. And kind of the reaction afterwards just ended up spurring me on rather than um, rather than crushing me, which which I've seen happen with players. And um, uh, and it's very common to be to be really beaten down by a match like that. And I was fortunate enough that my coach at the time was as level-headed as level-headed about it, I think, as he could be. Um, you know, he came down and there were some bits overall that he wasn't very happy with, but he turned to me afterwards and he could obviously see how how uh, disappointed I was that that I'd lost and said, "Jack, just keep doing things the way that you did it today. It didn't come off today, but but it will." Mm -hmm. 